everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Lainey I feel I look really different than my last video because I had time to do my makeup today Today we're gonna to be talking about summer 2023 wardrobe essentials. I was gonna call it 2023 trends, but they're, yes, they're trends, but they're not like, you know, what the fashion houses are saying will be trending this year. They're just pieces that I'll be wearing that I think would make for a really good summer wardrobe. And we'll go with pieces you already have. It's not like a totally new aesthetic. Um, if you like my style, I'm sure you'll like these pieces. They're things I'll be wearing and a styling in you know videos to come so i just figured i would share it like that before we get into this video though i want to say thank you so much to thrive market for sponsoring if you guys don't know what thrive market is it's an online membership based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone and they guarantee savings on every order as a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality, organic, and sustainable products. And if you find a lower price somewhere else, Thrive Market will match it. You'll also make back your annual $60 membership in savings. And if you don't, Thrive Market will literally credit you the difference. All orders over $49 ship free. And it's as simple as that. There's no tipping or additional fees. I am someone who hates going to the grocery store and I dabbled in delivery services and nothing compares price-wise to a Thrive Market. Filter the catalog of products by diet and lifestyle, product types, and your favorite brands. Whether you're gluten-free, vegan, or keto, you can shop over 90 plus diets and values. Finally, a grocery store customized to your needs. So if you guys want to check out Thrive Market, you can click the link in my description box to get 30% off your first order and a free gift up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Thrive Market before, you definitely should because it's just 30% off groceries. You'd already be buying. I was gonna have to get these shelf staples for my uh, kitchen anyways, and I just saved a ton of money by getting them off at Thrive Market. Next time you need groceries, use that 30% off get them off Thrive. You guys are gonna get a little sneaky peeky of my kitchen, which is so cute. The first summer 2023 wardrobe essential for me are these little puff sleeve blouses. I've liked these tops for quite a while now. I have one that I got from Forever 21 and I swear I've been wearing it since like 2018. Um, I still have it. It just doesn't fit right now over my boobs, my breastfeeding boobs. So this one's actually just from Old Navy. Yeah, Old Navy. And it has a matching pair of shorts and it's technically a PJ set, but I'm definitely going to be wearing it in the summer. How cute would it be with like little fry boots or cowboy boots or even like sneakers like Sambas would be adorable to me. So I've always really liked these little puff sleeve blouses because they add a little bit of like femininity and and you know cutesy to my style because I tend to wear like baggy pants or you know boxers or athletic shorts which I'll be talking about later or even like kind of um, crazy maybe more like Y2K style pants I'll pair with these blouses I literally will pair anything with these style blouses and I think it is just so cute the epitome of summer they're so comfortable I like that this one has buttons and is like flowy at the bottom so I can easily breastfeed <laughs> which is now another part of my uh, like wardrobe essentials so these tops are definitely super easy to thrift i always see them at the thrift store but if you want like this little set i can link this old navy one down below for you guys it's very inexpensive and old navy always has sales but again these tops i just like that they kind of like make an outfit yes you could put on just a white t-shirt but if you put this on you look so much more put together so the next summer essential for me is kind of under the same category of you just put it on and it makes the outfit and that's like a asymmetrical top and I've talked about these asymmetrical hemlines is it asymmetrical or asymmetric I don't know these hemlines that are you know diagonal or have little like pieces flowing off of them and we're definitely still seeing that and I have a few tops like that that I still love but also it's incorporating this off the shoulder trend we've been seeing so much and maybe just having one side off the shoulder but it's more of a fitted not like that loose you know uh cowl neck not cowl neck boat neck 
scoop neck type of feel. It's a little bit more um, structured, but still like off the shoulder and asymmetric. And I think that these tops are so adorable as well. Pairing it with, like I said, like a comfy pair of shorts, or if you're dressing up skirt, if you want to just wear it with jean shorts or jeans, like the outfit looks so much more chic and cool than just wearing a t-shirt or a tank top. So I think that having either one of these tops in your wardrobe will just make putting outfits together so much easier. And that's kind of what this list is for is let's wake up every day and not like struggle to put on outfits because I struggle to get dressed every single day. The next 2023 trend wardrobe essential that I'm really loving is the color baby pink. I think this just goes with like pastels in general, but for me, baby pink's definitely my favorite. I've been loving it since winter now. So adding just, you know, pops of it with hair bows or a purse or your shoes, your ballet flats. Uh, it's a fun like little incorporation of the ballet core without being costumey. I really do like taking inspiration from all these different aesthetics that TikTok comes up with every day. Not in a costume way of I'm gonna wear my wrap top and my white tights and my ballet flats and my le leg warmers and feel like it's Halloween. I'm going to like take little bits and pieces of it so maybe I'd wear this top with, you know, some baby pink or ballet flats or something like that and or an asymmetric top that isn't ballet core but you know what I mean? Like this would be cottage core mix and match. I always talk about that, but baby pink, super cute, a fun pop of color. The next trend is slip on sneakers. Um, and I see them on Depop all the time. That's what it is. I see these like strappy ballet flat type of sneakers on Depop all the time. And the prices are, I would honestly say disgusting. I'll see like a hundred to $200 for these strappy slip on sneakers that I know everybody hated like a year ago. And you know, kudos to this like Depop seller that I see all the time who has all of them. I'm really curious if they've ever made a sale with them because the prices are just astronomical. Whenever I see these ballet flats, they call them like futuristic ballet flats on Depop. They're $100 to $200 and they never say the brand name. I did some digging and I find them all the time on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, funny enough, for like $40 to $20. And they're called Jeep shoes. They're J41 Jeep shoes is the one that everyone likes. So I'm sorry if that was me like breaking the gatekeeping that person was doing, but if you guys want to find them yourself, obviously it's a little harder to find like the cute ones, but if you don't want to spend $200 on a pair of sneakers, J41 Jeep shoes is what they're called. But also with this, I don't know if I would necessarily get a pair of these. I do really like them and I could see myself wearing them all the time. I am such a slip on girl. Like if I have to untie and tie a pair of shoes, I literally won't wear them. Like my Sambas, I can slip on and off and that's why I wear them. I literally don't wear my New Balance 550s because I have to untie them and retie them because I know I get questions a lot like, Lainey, why don't you wear those anymore? That's why, that's why I wear my cowboy boots so often because you slip them on. I'm literally that lazy. So again, like these, you know, velcro strap shoes I could see myself liking but also I found like these shoes on Macy's that are just a slip-on sneaker they're like so bad they're good I don't know you either get it or you don't and they're kind of like a challenge to style I think it's the same looking at them it's the kind of that same feeling we got initially from like the dad sneakers which are like the mom sneakers like when we've moved on to the mom sneakers and I just think it's funny but yeah I think they're cute okay next are two top two styles of shorts, boxers and running shorts. I've been seeing boxers and running shorts styled in so many fun ways recently, which just gets me so freaking excited because like that's all I ever wanna wear in the summertime. I'm not a jean shorts girl, they're just not comfy enough for me. Those are really the only kind of shorts I wear, honestly, I can't think of anything else. I really don't wear like skirts and dresses are kind of a hit or miss right now because I can't lift up my dress to breastfeed. It would have to be a dress I can pull down. I'm like wishy-washy about dresses this summer. I will definitely be wearing boxers and athletic shorts this summer. I've been wearing boxers as shorts for years now and I, yeah, I'm never stopping. Um, and then athletic shorts also. And I really do like styling them with like a shirt like this or an asymmetric top, like a more fashion-y shirt instead of just wearing a big baggy top, a big baggy t-shirt but I think a big baggy t-shirt's cute too. Styling it with your cowboy boots, your fry boots, your sambas, your slip-on sneakers, even like ballet flats I think can be so adorable. Who would be opposed to that? And so easy to thrift, you guys. Boxers and running shorts, or like just get a pack of boxers off of uh, like Amazon or go to Target and get a pack of boxers. So easy, 
You do not have to spend money, like a lot of money to get this look. Okay, the last thing I've been seeing so much of are like fun hair accessories, which is why I put on my padded headband. I was definitely inspired by Miss Emma Chamberlain at the Met Gala. She had her padded headband on for her look and I was like, oh, I love my padded headband. I'm gonna put it on. I talked about this. I think I started wearing it last, no, two winters ago now. And I thought I was so late to the trend that like it wasn't cool anymore, but I was like, I just, I like it. Like, I can't help it. I think it's having a resurgence after Emma wore it and you guys know that people eat up everything she does. So these padded headbands, I'm loving. I definitely want to get like a more springy color, like a baby pink or baby blue or something would be adorable. Cause this one's black velvet and it just feels a little bit wintry to me. I think they're so cute, especially with short hair. I love the padded headband. Also these big giant scrunchies. The first person I saw talk about these were Susie Lola. If you guys don't watch her videos, definitely has like cooler fashion sense than me. I get so much inspo from her, even though I feel like we dress so differently. Um, she was the first to talk about these big scrunchies though. And I was like, okay, that's so cool. I would love one of those. And you can't do a lot of hairstyles with short hair. When you add these hair accessories, you feel like you have a lot more options, which is fun. So giant scrunchies, you know, giant bows, obviously we've been seeing the bows so much, but just lots of hair accessories, which again is so fun and such an easy way to spice up an outfit. You could be wearing your jeans and a t-shirt and then you just accessorize the crap out of it and you look so freaking cool, so effortless, so easy. Absolutely love it. So thank you again for watching this video. If you guys wanna see me style these summer 2023 wardrobe essentials, let me know in the comments below. I can definitely do that since I have, I think all of these in my closet already. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.